Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss this concept norm of a vector in R n. See, in a simple words, we can say norm means a distance of a point from the origin. Okay. So consider this R two x axis and y axis. And if we select any point x comma y in this R two, then distance of this point from the origin. is called as norm of that point x comma y is it clear to you so this is called norm in rn okay so this is r2 so let us see r3 now see in r3 we have three axis x axis y axis and z axis so if i consider any point x y z okay p be a point having coordinates x y z then distance of that point from the origin getting this is origin 0 0 0 so distance of this point from the origin okay i will join them this distance is known as norm of that point okay so let us see what is the formula of norm if we have the such any point in r in x1 x2 and so on xn then its norm is defined as square root of square of first component plus square of second component plus and so on square root square of last component in this way norm is defined okay so let us see one example how to calculate this norm okay on the next page we are going to see see i am going to take here any arbitrary point of r3 okay see 2 3 minus 4 any random point we have taken this is element of r3 obviously since three components are there so i am going to calculate its norm you know the definition of norm norm of x is equal to what we do first we take square root right and inside square root we take square of each of them right so square of 2 is 4 plus square of 3 is 9 plus square of minus 4 is 16 right so what will be the answer it's root 29 so in this way we calculate norm of any point correct so now let us discuss few properties of norm okay let us discuss properties for properties uh, i will consider okay x and y these are any arbitrary elements of rn and alpha be any real number then the first property is norm of x okay is same as norm of minus x see this thing we are going to prove see in this case i will start with right hand side okay so i will go for norm of minus x So this is equal to norm of minus. What is our x? X means x one, x two, and so on, x n. So you know that minus sign. We have to take. We'll multiply each term by this minus sign, right? Okay. So by definition of norm, you know the definition of norm. Norm means square root of square of first entry. That means square of minus x one plus square of minus x two plus square of minus x n. So this is equal to. See, you know that when we take square. Getting when we take square, that minus sign will get vanish. So this is nothing but x one square plus x two square plus and so on x n square. So this is nothing but this is definition of norm. Norm of x one, x two and so on x n. We have a same definition of norm. No, so we have got the same. So this is equal to norm x. So in this, so in this way we proved that norm x is equal to norm minus x. So in this way we have proved the first property. Okay. So let us go for the second property. So if 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 alpha is any uh, real number, okay, we can have this one. You can take it outside the norm, but when we take outside, we need to carry mod there, right? So I will start with left hand side. So what is left hand side? Norm of alpha. X. So this is equal to norm of alpha. What is my x? X one, x two, and so on. X n. Correct. So you know that. when we have any scalar multiply we multiply each component by this alpha so therefore we will have alpha x1 alpha x2 and so on alpha x sin right so this is equal to now apply the definition of norm and tell me by definition of norm we will have a square root right square of first one so square of first one is alpha square x1 square square of this one alpha square x2 square and so on alpha square x n square tell me can i take alpha square common obviously we can take alpha square common so alpha square 
x square and square plus x two square plus and so on. What will we have? X n square, right? So see, alpha you can take outside. So square alpha is a square. It has a square root, so it will get cancelled. So alpha can come outside, but it should be positive. We always take a positive square root to maintain the positiveness. I will apply mod there. Okay. So this is square root of x one square plus x two square plus and so on x n square. So this is equal to mod alpha. This is nothing but this is nothing but norm x. In this way we proved norm alpha x is equal to mod alpha norm x. Okay. See few more properties are there. Okay. But that thing we will discuss in. our next video so right now we will stop thank you